Hello, my name is Jesper Nissen, and in this video, I will show you how to integrate your Bunny Cloud with Yax. So, I am logged in to my uh, master account in Bunny, and I need to click on account. And then I need to uh, scroll down here and check the API. And this is actually super simple because I just need to click on the I, and then I can uh, copy this API key and hop over to Yax and click on connectivity, of course, then click on Bunny, click on add new and uh, client Jesper. Yes, Jesper. Bunny, Bunny Cloud and secret key connects. All right, so let me create a test website. I could just reuse one of my other test websites, but I'm now just creating one. Um, generate and upload to Bunny. So <clears throat> you can see that already that this uh, this picture looks a little bit different than, uh, than the other clouds because now we have something called storage zone and something called pull zone. And uh, let me demonstrate to you what these are. So let's first select the client and the account. So now we have this. <clears throat> so you can actually see I have some storage zones already and um, the pull zone depends on the storage zone. So if I select here, Jesper, then I have some uh, pull zones that are connected to the storage zone. So what you need to do first is you need to first create the storage zone. So let me create uh, Jesper storage zone one, zone one, add, <clears throat> and then you need to create a pull zone and the pull zone will be a part of the URL. So let me just demonstrate that to you. Jesper URL pull zone, pull zone like this. Pull zone one. Um, <clears throat> so now you also need to uh, you also need to select create and select directory. If you don't do that, the URL will not work. And let me demonstrate that for you. Perhaps not super pedagogical to demonstrate something that won't work, but uh, I mean many of you will be in this situation where it won't work. So let me just click upload. And uh, you can now see that uh, the uh, pull zone. So what I the name that you en the, that you enter down here in the pull zone is actually used in the URL. So that's the part of the sub. That's actually the subdomain name. So if I click on this guy, uh, it works. Okay, yeah, it works. It works. Okay, I told you that it didn't work, but uh, it works. Uh, okay, so let me just uh, directory name. Directory name, add, and upload. Are you sure one to override? Yes, I don't know why it says that it's, it's empty. So, uh, Jesper, URL, pull zone, uh, bcdn net directory name. <clears throat> if I click on this guy, so this is what it looks like with directory name. So, this is name of directory, obviously. And uh, up here is there is no directory name. Let's actually see if they are different in uh, in power. So this is forty one seventy seven forty one, and uh, this is seventy seven forty one. Okay, so it's it's the same power. Okay, so uh, I I'm, I must admit sometimes I see it if I don't if I don't select the directory name, if I don't create a directory then. It won't work if I, I click on this guy here and it won't work. Uh, it would give me a 404 error, but uh, yeah, you can see uh, I just demonstrated for you that uh, in this instance, in this case, it actually worked for uh, for both variations, both with and without a directory name. So uh, yeah, this uh, was it guys for the Bunny CDN um, cloud setup. Again, a little bit special because you need to you need to define first a storage zone name and the, the storage zone name will not be a part of the URL. 
Uh, and uh, then you need to define a pullzone name that will actually be a part of the URL. As you can see down here, yes, but URL pullzone one is the, the actual name of the actual subdirectory that is created. All right, that was it for this video. Take care.